successful with getting a lot of the leads and singing parts of the song and we just have to get over uh, you getting whatever you've been getting if you always bring me down then you gotta go go oh, oh. I kept saying to her this is gonna be a hard process because there are probably gonna be people could be me could be anybody else that are, that are gonna say why is, is this person getting all the leads I said you can't feel guilty for that Whatever you're being chosen for, there's a reason for it. And there's no reason to feel guilty for it. Despite no. Miley's support, Nicole still has difficulty with the situation. No. Is that my right note? That's probably the hardest thing for me in a group is to deal with that because you're in a group with four other girls that you live with and you're with 24-7 and you just don't want to upset anybody. And you want to be a team player, but at the same time, you don't want to hide yourself and what everything that you have in here, and you still want to display that. For Ana Maria, finishing the album is a big accomplishment in more ways than one. It's the first time I've been out of that environment, away from my mom and dad and my sisters, and um, I think, as just as a person in general and um, as an individual, I think I've grown inside, learning to just be on my own. Always bring me down, and you gotta go. For Rosanna, the challenge of recording the album is a familiar one. We're doing no drama, and my voice is given out for the second time during my whole course here. So I'm not happy about that at all. I don't know what's going to happen. I was told that maybe I could record my part later on, and it's not like we have a lot of time. What do they call it? Personal steam therapy. Call me. Call me. Call me. that you got. Timing. Right. Call me. That has found recording in the studio to be the most difficult challenge since joining the group. I've always been a performer, but the event that started the album didn't find the transition between performing on stage and using those tools in the booth. It was a scary thing for me. I was insecure. I knew that I could do it, but somehow I had that red light syndrome that David Foster likes to call it, is when you're outside the mic and you can absolutely wail and do it, and then when once you have to record, all of a sudden there's something that happens where it doesn't come out right. Best of me, best of me. Best of me, best of me. Yeah. Is that in the right place? Like Yvette, Miley also found recording the album to be frustrating at times. I think there was a part of me that thought that I didn't get to the level that I wanted to because I'm a perfectionist and I really like to work my craft as, as hard as I can. And, you know, it's never good enough. You know, you always want to continue and get better and better and better. And, um,. I don't know, I just, I think maybe towards the end I was really starting to think to myself, God, I could, I could be better. I could be working so much harder than I already am. Now in this very short two month period, I, I, I've seen them grow so much and, and it's just great to watch them come in the studio now and they kind of automatically know sort of what they're supposed to do on the song. Fortunately, Rosanna's voice returns and along with it, her confidence. a lot more confident as a singer. I feel a lot more knowledgeable as a singer. I feel like if I warm up and, you know, I start to practice my, my parts, and I can do them and feel secure in them. And that's a big achievement. All of us improved. I mean, I listen now to the first song that we've ever recorded. And I look at all of us and think of the last song which we just recorded and think we've grown so much. Then you gotta go.